dog. In South Carolina, some people thought that they would never take that Confederate flag from yeah. in front of the state house. I was there, man. I was one of them. Yo, right, we right. saw that in oh, our man. generation. Yeah. Bro, like, yo, like, like, real talk. Take a step back and think about that, dog. Yeah. Yo, people never thought that we would be even having these conversations. Yeah. And it happened. We're in South Carolina. Yeah. I never, I was there when it came down. And, it, yeah. and one of the things, too, is like they hate us talking about the past. It's mm-hmm. like, y'all weren't born into slavery. None of your family were slaves. Why you keep talking about it? Right. But then you go to an event and they still dressed up like Civil War soldiers. I'm like, <laughs> like what are you doing? Like, uh, y'all can't right. make it go Y'all can't make it go y'all's past. Still, we doing doing right. Right. still doing reenactments. Right. Right. And st- still doing reenactments where they try to spin the history. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, visit my wife at work on Calhoun, uh, on number one Calhoun Street, on the way to the uh, to her job, and I'm in the way, and there's like tourists in the way, you know, white people taking pictures of slave grounds and where Quarters. they, you know, on the blocks and looking at shackles and stuff, like, yeah, like it's Disney World or something, man. It's like crazy. Our like, pain, damn, our what? pain <laughs> is amusement. <laughs> Yep. Like our yeah, pain. They, they get drunk off. They get drunk off of black tears. I used to always <laughs> yeah. hear and then today, and, and then even they for, get drunk off of black so tears. So it's twofold, though, brother. I would say also, like even for those, like some people who they, they truly, they truly can't understand why this affects us so much, and they're trying to see it, or like they're trying to, to capture some of those moments so that they can understand our pain, and sometimes they utilize that hurt to push us forward. They utilize that work to be allies. Like, I think we have a lot more allies than we have detractors uh-huh. right now. And we got to give our allies some sure. credit, too. Like, we have modern-day abolitionists who will come. Yo, right, right. real talk, dog. You know, like, some of my biggest supporters? Like, white people. But see, that's what, and I think Lyles was asking it earlier. We don't do a good enough job of embracing them. Like, mm-hmm. and I, we made a point. And I think right. uh, Roper is not on it. Uh, right. He's right. the other member of the pod. But one of the things he said is, like, it's okay, but you just can't be in the front. You got to be in the back. Right. And my thing yeah, is... Yeah, we were talking will, about Jesse Williams, I think. We were talking about Jesse the whole Williams. Jesse Williams situation. If you're willing to help, we need all the help we can get, and we need to embrace it. Because some of these people truly yeah, have good intentions Regardless. and they want to help. So so I, I have uh, mixed feelings about that, because if they're in the front, right, do we always have to uh-huh. be in the front and get shot? Do we always have to be in the front and get bit by the dogs? Do we have to always be in the front and and make it seem as if this is just our issue or can they also be in that space in some capacity, not necessarily leading, but being in that space to also say that, my brother, I hear you. Now, I agree. Sometimes it can get tired, like, dang, let us have some space of our own. Right. Yeah. But how do we navigate that system? Like Jesse Williams, yo, he's bought a lot of, unfortunately, validity for some other people who wouldn't normally validate the work that we're doing. Yeah, yeah. He's opened their eyes for that. And sometimes it takes white exactly. people to show other it. white people how serious this is. Well, see, my thing is, I think like if, uh, if a, a black, if an unarmed black man mm-hmm. or woman gets shot or killed at the hands of the police, we up in arms and we marching on the streets. Yeah. But any, a lot of other times when you see protests and anything else, it's not, we're not out there like that. That's true. And that's what I'm saying. So, like, they're out there all the time. Yeah. We want them to only be there for us when something happens to us. Right. We need to be there, like, all the time. Yeah, we have to be consistent. Yeah. Right. That's, and that's my whole thing is, like, they out there all the time. But psychologically, think about, for this is a question for all of y'all. Why wouldn't we be out there all the time? Like, why aren't we out there all the time? Why don't y'all go to protests? Do y'all, do y'all normally go to protests? No, you know, let me tell you why. Why? Cause you said, no. you said it when you first got on. Uh-huh. It's a, it's a, a comfortability thing within yourself. Right. Is that if I'm out at a protest at a Black Lives Matter and then someone sees me, mm-hmm. I, I got an executive position. Right. My corporate and someone sees me, then the association is going to be there and then I don't know what's going to happen. So it's right. me being scared of right. that. Right. And right. that's, the, that's just real talk. Yeah. What about the rest of y'all? Why don't y'all same go to more here. protests? Oh, same thing. Right, so, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if Hams is different. I know mine is, is extremely close to Lance's. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been an entrepreneur for a minute, so I really don't. Yeah, you follow him on Facebook. You keep it real. Okay. Okay. You know, like down here, man. I don't know. I just think of, um, I may be too cerebral sometimes, mm-hmm. but I'm like, okay, so we're protesting. So what's the end game? Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, I'm like, and I if, think, and yeah. If, 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 if I can't validate, I'm like, man, fuck that, man. Like, y'all are spinning y'all wheels. I need to find something, something productive. So sometimes, though, I you just. Sometimes, though, the protest is not always about to bring about an action. Sometimes the protest right. is just about to bring sure. awareness. Awareness, there you go. And that's the thing well, that you know we. What? Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. I, I've, more, I, I've changed a lot. You 
you know, and when I when I say that, I mean like uh, I'm I'm directly referencing in my mind uh the Trayvon Martin thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because before, you know, just being in the state community, you know, because you know my dad, is a South Carolina State graduate, mm-hmm. you know, he used to be the athletic director there, Shout Alpha Lambda dogs. as well. Yep, you know what yep. I'm saying? Good man. So. Yeah, so, you know, we had like a little a Cosby-type deal, you know, in Orangeburg. We were straight, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So I see all these people, like, you know, wearing hoodies for this this kid because he was, like, the first real notable one. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dang, man, what y'all wearing hoodies all the way over here and the thing is all the way over there? Why don't y'all go there and protest? Why, why are you doing it here? You know what I'm saying? But like, but, right, but we, right, but we, right. But we, but we, fa- we fast-forward to 2017. Man, I don't know what's going on in terms of my maturity and level of empathy. And, you know, I guess it's through discussion like this. Man, I'll protest something in a damn heartbeat. Yeah. They'd be like, man, you with it, this, man. Drink, this drink, these people that own this drink company race, I'd be like, fuck it, I'm drinking water. Yeah. Like, I ain't right. watching an NFL game. Like, I'm down for the, like, yeah. you know, for everything now. So, I mean, it's definitely a level of maturity that had to take place. Consciousness. on my own part, even being a part of the affected race. I'm not saying I was like, you know, bougie or nothing. I was like, dude, like, I don't get it. But, I mean, it took time. So, so we, yeah, I think that, I think that we all, I think that we all, to what Ham was saying, we're taking the time. I think that we're all at a place in our lives where one, we have children. So now we look at things completely different because when you have children, you have, you, that, that have to go out right. into this world and deal with these things that's going on. You become more aware right. of what's happening and you care about what's happening a lot more. And right. then two is that we're, we're, we're at a point now, like Ham said, he's an entrepreneur. Um, you know, Lance and myself are, you know, have pretty um, high standing, you know, corporate jobs or whatnot. We're in a place now, too, where we're very comfortable and confident in where we are professionally to be like, hey, I can do this. And if something does happen to me, I'm going to be OK. I can go back. out. I can go out here and get another job. I can do this. Like I have enough skills and whatever. And my thing now that they can't really affect me in my pocket, you know. And I think a lot of that comes to it too. Like a lot of people look at their pockets. Like Lance was saying earlier, it's like, you know, yeah, I want to do this and this, but I gotta feed my family. I gotta do this, and if I do that, and, and that's where they got us though. my job mm-hmm. or whatnot. And yeah, it goes back to where you were saying, West too, is like, how do we, you know, start building our own wealth? Start build, start having our own thing so that we don't have to be under their hand on the on on that on that part. Yeah, financial freedoms. I only hope. I mean, it's you know, those are very serious things to think about. Like. Some of us will say, I just don't give a fuck. Some of us will say, yo, the movement is more important. Some of us will say, like, yo, I got to make sure I take care of my family. And I think that we shouldn't judge each other for doing that. I'm not saying y'all are. No, no, no. What what I'm saying is you can still do every. So my way of going about it, like I talk to white folks. Mm -hmm. I want to. That's what you want to do, right? Yeah. I think for us to be successful in in our worlds, we have to be chameleons and Mm -hmm. adaptability. And I can go to. And it's funny because, like, I could go to the hood Mm -hmm. and I can go to talk to a neck that like nascar mm-hmm. and we fit in but it's right. hard for them to yep. do that like they right. go they to can't do i've that. seen sales reps like ah you know like you know <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, ah. you know like can we talk about phone type <laughs> right so right. i think like my way of doing it is like i'll talk to i talk to everybody i talk to i'm one of those people who talk to people on the elevator which is right. weird right, 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 right. It gets quiet as soon as the door shut i'll talk to you on the elevator so my way is like engaging different yeah. people and that's your way yeah. and we we have to stop being so judgmental and again i don't want you all to think like you all are being judgmental or I'm being judgmental. I think as a whole, it's not a, a zero game sum. Like it's not an all or nothing. Everybody has a role to play. So if your way is talking to, um, minor or excuse me, white people in certain spaces or talking to Latinos or Asians to show them a different side of a brother, then that's great. If my way is like, you know, leading a movement or protesting, like, okay, that's great. If another person's way is just funding a movement, like, okay, that's right. fine. Also, okay. we, we need, yeah. all, we holistic, need everybody right. to do that. Now we all can do more. Right. Yeah. So, Thanks. you know, Agreed. but, right. but the point, but the point comes though. So if you, if you see where I feel like we sometimes fall short is if you see those leaders who are willing to put their, their livelihoods or whatnot on the line, then we have to support them in terms of their resources. Right. Yes. And we can't right. say to them, well, why are you going, why are you taking money to go give a speech? Like, dude, I got to feed my family. Exactly. There, there you saying? go. There you go. Like I still have to feed my family. Or like if we have some of us who are in certain positions, yo, for real, for real, what's wrong with you sending like, you know, whoever the civil rights leader is or whoever that person is, send them a $500 check. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can afford to do so. And it's not because you, you trying to fatten their pockets. It's like, yo, these, you know what I'm saying? When you live in this kind of work, yo, work, like working, work can be very tricky. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because people, you, when you're a polarizing figure, and I know this firsthand, like work can be very tricky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're not always going to be welcome on the job in certain places. There's going to be some things that you have very to do. True. So if you want these leaders to sacrifice their livelihood to push our people forward, you got to be willing to support them and vice versa. Those leaders also have to be willing to support our other brothers and sisters, not saying that, you know, or don't give them, oh, man, I'm too busy or I'm too, you know, what I mean, such and such. Like, I knew I was super busy, yeah. but I wanted to make sure to come because these are people who support me. And most importantly, like these are my brothers. I ain't talking about fraternity brothers. Yeah. I'm talking about you, my brother. Y'all are my brothers. So if I can make it happen, sure. I don't need to make an excuse about why I can't do it. There's no such, like when I'm in this position that I'm in, there is no such thing as I'm tired. Like I can be tired when I you got to take a nap and then you got to do what you got to do because like the movement and the people need you. But I also need y'all like I need, you know, I need the help on the other end also. And that's those are the real yeah, right. conversations that we have to have. And I feel like we shy away from those true, conversations true. It's because it's uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 It's and that's uncomfortable. what you said. The progress. Yeah. What you said? Never be patient with progress, right? Right, right. Be be patient right. with people, but but always be impatient with progress. And we can't we can't act as if certain things are off limits. Yeah. Like I know a lot of activists who wind up being broke. You know what I'm saying? Like leaders oh. of movements who died with debt. I don't want that to be me. Yeah. I don't want it to be yeah. me. Yeah. So I have to ask a question to myself, like, okay, so how am I going to quote unquote monetize this so I can feed my family? It's not that I'm trying to be selfish. It's like, yo, I got a wife and three no, daughters. That's real. That's real. Yeah, yeah, my daughters. And yo, my, you know what I'm saying? Glory to God. Like, he's made sure that we've been good. Like, and we, we, we're good. But like, you know, there are things I, I think about moving forward, right? Like, yeah. if I'm going to lead a movement, how am I going to, does, does a movement have a 401k plan? Like, does a movement have a retirement plan? Right. You know what I'm saying? Is it, is it, yeah, yeah, is it? Is it? Cause, cause when I go home, like, and my wife is like, yo, so, you know, we need to go grocery shopping this week. The movement's gonna pay it. Yeah, the, the movement's gonna get the groceries. The movement's gonna get the snacks for my daughter. Wait for that movement check to come in. Yeah. The, move, the movement ain't paying my daughters after school. You know what I'm saying? So, like, those are real. So, so are we supporting our leaders in that way? That's very true. But, you know, until you said that, nobody yeah. even thought, I never thought of it in that depth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit is real. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's extremely real. Yeah. And I mean, you're right. And yeah. to West, your point, Wes, like, I don't think there's enough conversation about that because you best believe on the other side of our progress and movement that we're, that we're creating and, and progressing in, they're paying for them on the other side. Oh, man. They we're don't have to worry about anything. All the stuff that they're able to do. They're, they're get, constantly getting bankrolled. Bro. So why can't we do that? Bro, they start consulting. Why shouldn't we do that? They start consulting firms. They start these different firms. And they just say, like, yeah, I'm doing this and this. And they have donors. Okay, well, here's a check. Oh, what do, you, what do your kids need? Oh, all right, well, why don't you just come give this speech? I'm going to give you 10000 you know what I mean? Oh, right. Like we go and, and you, you take you, got paid out of pocket. Oh, right, right. Yo, right, they were they, right. they were giving grants. <laughs> they were giving grants to people to come to the rally on the twelfth. Like they had some funder or funders who were saying, "Yo, if anybody wants to come, any white supremacist group, you want to come, we have a grant for you. We'll take care of your travel. You know, your oh. you give you a per diem. Wow. Like yo, why, and no, that was just for them to go and protest. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, so if wow. we, so if we, so if I, I'm not even going to talk about we, like, let's, let's just be real with it, right? So if I go and I want to go give a speech somewhere, somebody asked me to come give a speech and I asked you to give me a thousand dollars and cover my travel, like, why do I get, oh man, who he think he is? Like, oh, yeah. yo, I got a family. Yeah. Right. And I love you, my brother or my sister, but like my, my, my kids can't eat love. <laughs> Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And that don't mean I'm being bougie. You can feel love. That's a real. That doesn't that's mean real I'm trying to be right rude, there, rude though, to you at all, or like I'm, or I think I'm like I'm more than what I am. But yeah. you want you want me to put my livelihood and my life, like yo, my kids have got bomb threats at their school. So you want me oh. to put like my real livelihood, my children's livelihood, and my, their life and my livelihood on the line to push the people forward. But if I ask you, can you support us with five hundred dollars to to come and do or whatever, like, and you have the money? I'm not trying to get it from somebody who doesn't have it, yeah. but you have it. But you look at me crazy. Yeah. Come on, dog. And they give it to somebody else. Yeah. But you will willingly give it to another individual who probably doesn't look like me, mm-hmm. who probably who probably does, doesn't ain't relate to you. To say. Ain't yeah. nothing. Yep. You, you will gladly give, give it to, it to them. Joel in Lakeside. No doubt. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, fellas. Don't be like float on them prayers. I want to. Yeah. 
I want to, um, because we could have you on all day, but I want to respect your time because <laughs> you are in transition and you're going.